AVR Race Tech has been in the motor racing scene for more than 20 years. Now, what they do best is test, develop and fabricate for manufacturers, organizers, teams and drivers. And they aren't just building and developing for small racing series. They have worked with Formula 1, MotoGP and NASCAR. Now, they leverage their know-how to develop solutions for the future of mobility. And that's exactly what we will be talking about today. The motorsport department of AVL has recently shown off their prototype of an innovative hydrogen internal combustion engine. The engine is a compact 2 litre turbocharged engine with water injection. Now this prototype is the first racing engine that AVL Racetech is developing and building in house. And this engine is something truly amazing. You see most hydrogen powered internal combustion engines are normally operated at very lean air fuel mixes which in turn means that they generate comparatively less power to a gasoline based engine that runs on a richer fuel mix. AVL's new engine still runs slightly leaner than a gasoline engine but because of their new water injection methods they have made hydrogen powered engines that produce power that can match the power of gas internal combustion engines of today. We will talk about power a bit later, but first, how does this thing work and what are they doing differently? So like I said, their engine features water injection on top of the directly injected hydrogen fuel. The water injection is shot in through the air intake, which increases boost pressure and cools the intake air as well as the combustion chamber. Now designing the necessary injectors and valves requires precise knowledge of the overall system behavior with all air, fuel and exhaust gas flows, for which AVL uses its stride and tested simulation models and 3D flow calculations. So there is more to it than just adding water to the intake. These simulations also ensures that the mechanical limits of the engines are not exceeded and the high safety standards of motorsports are met. Now producing a hydrogen powered car that has a similar power output to a gasoline powered vehicle is a huge challenge, but they have done it. Project manager Paul Campus stated, realizing performance values at a motorsport level with a hydrogen internal combustion engine is an incredibly complex and technical challenge, but our prototype proves that it can be done. Now I keep saying that this engine makes as much power as 2 litre turbo engines that we currently have running on gasoline. But that's not a very specific number. So how much power does these engines actually make? Well this hydrogen powered internal combustion engine makes 150 kilowatt per litre. So 300 kilowatt in total. That's about 400 horsepower which is on par with the A45S AMG Mercedes. That's pretty damn impressive. And AVL isn't done yet. The director of motorsport at AVL, Ellen Lohr, said, We are the forerunners in many aspects of motorsports with AVL Racetech and have now made the decision to become leaders in the area of hydrogen combustion engines as well, which is why we are building our own racing engines for the first time in the more than 20 year history of the AVL motorsport department. We expect to be able to present this hydrogen engine in the spring of 2023 and are confident that hydrogen combustion technology will play a significant role in achieving a zero carbon future in motorsport. Now Toyota is also producing a compact motorsport hydrogen powered combustion engine and I wonder how they will compare. Toyota's one is only a 1.6 litre turbo, so it will make less power. But will Toyota also be able to come close to what we already have in terms of power with gasoline powered engines of the same size? But let me know down below what you think of this engine that AVL is producing. Are you as impressed as I am? I think this is freaking insane. Making all of that power on hydrogen. That's like one of the things people complain about and say is the big problem is the fact that it's so difficult or almost impossible to produce a similar amount of power out of hydrogen. And according to AVL's numbers, they came pretty close to 2 litre engines that we have today. And if they continue their research and make more engines that are almost as strong as gasoline powered engines, we will have no excuse. I mean, why then not use these engines? Yes, they'll have a bit less range. But with technologies like this and this, the fuel was just going to be a lot cheaper. And talking about range, I've got a video coming out soon where we discuss the range of hydrogen internal combustion engines since I've found a few companies that actually talked about the range their engines will have. So yeah, just wait, that video is coming soon 
And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more car related stuff, so if you like cars, you like my channel. So just go through it, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? I am a